Hopefully Laura Callie. I keep forgetting to introduce myself, but hello, I'm Kalila or Callie and welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. We literally have like one week of this left, which is so crazy. And I am wearing my Sunday sweater right now. <laughs> it feels so good. It is the perfect size my head was just cut off. It is the perfect size and I made the size small if you're wondering and it fits me with some nice ease which I love and it's the Sunday sweater by Petite Knit if I didn't say that. If I did then you're just being reminded again. Right now I'm working on my Anchors sweater. Let me show you. This is my Anchors sweater. I have like 15 or so centimeters left of the body before I get to the sleeves. And oh my gosh, I cannot wait to finish this. I hope I can finish this in like a week. Look at Thunder, he's so cute. I wanna finish it in a week or so, so that I can start on casting on new things because this is my last whip for the month. I have finished this sweater, my hat, my socks. I finished my socks. I said I was gonna finish it last night. I didn't, I finished it this morning because I got so tired last night. But yes, I finished my Sunday sweater, my beanie and my socks. So those are three projects for the month. And then on my fourth project, my anchor sweater that I wanna finish for the month. And then I will feel so fresh and so renewed to start on something new, okay? I also got some mail today. It's not yarn mail, but it is stitch marker mail. It's from Vessel Stitch Co. So beautiful, let me show you what they are. They look so good. These are the stitch markers. I got these, hold on, are these flipped? Yeah, they are flipped. I got these Shamrock Four Leaf Clover stitch markers for March because I'm like, ooh, I can use these during March for St. Patrick's Day and stuff. And then, let me make sure these are flipped correctly, okay. Then I got these stitch markers and these are Harry Potter themed stitch markers. This is a wizard hat that says wizard in training. We have some butter beer here. I'm assuming it's butter beer. And then we have the Hogs, Hogwarts School, the Hogwarts School right there. And then a Wizarding book. Oh, so cute. But yeah, this is from Vessel Stitch Co on Etsy. If you guys wanna check them out, I highly recommend them. Like these are such high quality. I mean, it does say high quality knitting and crochet accessories, but you know, anyone can say that to hype themselves up. This is worth the hype, okay? I will start using these when I start on my next project. So I'm going to be continuing my Anchors sweater today. So this is what it looks like on me. This is where the body is right now. My waist is right here. So it's literally at my waist. You guys have seen this project already, okay? It's not brand new to you guys. So I'm almost done with the body and I haven't gotten much done on it, honestly, since I worked on my socks this morning. I just have like that much done, but that's fine. I will get some more done and I wanna order some sushi because I'm hungry and I think that'll be very, very yummy. So I will do that and work on my sweater and I'll update you guys later.
is advent time. I would show you my project, but it literally looks the same because I didn't get that many rows done. Like, not because I wasn't working on it. I was working on it, but it is DK weight yarn. Okay, I'm using two strands of fingering weight, which equals DK. And I have over 200 stitches on the needles. So trying to do a few rounds literally takes forever. I'm hoping tomorrow I can get a bit more progress because I'm, I'm trying to finish this body in like three days. And at this rate, it's literally going to take me a week for the body itself. Hopefully not. Oh my gosh. I do not want to get into the last week of December on this sweater and still being on this sweater. I want to finish it literally by Christmas. Fingers crossed. Okay. So next week, Saturday. Is that Christmas? Yeah. So next week, Saturday, not this coming Saturday, next Saturday, I want to be done with the entire sweater. We shall see. I may cast on some socks or a hat before then just to switch up the projects or maybe I'll just solely focus on this sweater to get it done quicker. Probably the latter. Anyway, day number 15. Yesterday's on, it was super dark purple. Like the darkest it can go now is like black. Okay. So maybe today will be the day it will start getting lighter. Let's see. Why did I say it like that? Lighter. Just say lighter. I said it like that because I say whiter, like whiter, so that you guys know I'm not saying whiter and I'm saying whiter. Anyway, here we go. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see. There are still, okay, this turned brown, but there are still dark purple elements in it, but I just saw the brown first. So I was like, how did we get here? But this is the color. It is still, it is still a darker color. You guys will see it in better lighting. It still has purple in it, like all around here and here you can see all the purple elements in it i don't know how to describe this color it just reminds me of hay <laughs> and like with the dark purple elements it's almost like the first color where it was like a dark brownish purplish or whatever it's like that except this is more cream i don't know how to describe stuff let me show you everything together see it still has purple elements but this thing literally jumped like it doesn't even doesn't even look like it faded it just jumped <laughs> but there are some of these purple elements in here from here but it doesn't look like it enough because there are so many like brownie mm, it's like green brown type of color in it so this is what's happening right now I think when I make the sweater for this, I'm going to definitely split some things up so that I put all the similar colors together and the other colors together. I may not go strictly through this fade, but we'll see. We'll see how things go. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but here's everything together. We're now going back into the what the heck is going on portion. Yeah, that was weird. Oh, my chair is moving. <laughs> Why is it moving? Hold on. Okay. Yeah, that was weird. I was expecting more light purple with a hint of something like maybe the dark purple mixed with a little bit of white with speckles of another color. That's how I would have done it. But also I'm not the dyer, so whatever. Anyway, that is all I have for this video. I wonder what tomorrow's color will be. I literally cannot guess. So I don't think I will guess tomorrow's colorway because no way, <laughs> no way. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and you haven't done so already. If you have any projects that you're doing this month, gifts that you're giving people, join my discord down below. The link is in the description and post pictures of those because I love seeing all of you guys projects and everything you're working on people have been showing all of their yarn hauls like the yarn they got from like Black Friday and yarn that they probably want for Christmas oh my gosh 
everything looks so amazing. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another vlog. Bye!